Hey everyone, today we're gonna to be talking about the cost of living in Cartersville, Georgia. My name's Seth, I'm a real estate agent here in Cartersville. And if you're interested in making the move here, I'll have my contact information on the screen here, as well as in the description below. So uh, if you're interested in getting more information about Cartersville, or uh, like I said, just making the move here, uh, feel free to contact me anytime and I'll be happy to help. So with that being said, let's get in, right into the cost of living in Cartersville, Georgia. So the first expense I wanna talk about is the gas prices in Cartersville. Uh, they've gone up quite a bit in the last year or so. Uh, but I think that's the case in, in most of the country. Typically, the costs are anywhere from $3 a gallon to $3.50 a gallon. The prices have started to go down a little bit, so hopefully it will continue to go down, but expect to pay at least $3 a gallon. Now, as far as the cost of utilities go in Cartersville, what's interesting about the city of Cartersville is that all the utilities are built, built together, so the water, power, and garbage, et cetera, all that's in one bill, and it's uh, pretty affordable. Uh, now, we'll say that according to bestplaces.net that uh, Cartersville has um, almost 5% higher than, than the national average of utility costs. Typically, the utilities costs are anywhere from $150 to $250. It really just depends on the size of the house and, of course, the time of the year. Uh, during the summer months, it, it can get pretty hot, so obviously you want to run the, the AC more. During the winter, uh, it, it gets pretty cold, but it's, it's usually not too bad. But um, there might be several days where you, you blast the heat to, to stay warm. But during the fall and springtime, the, the weather's pretty nice, so um, you're not really going to be running the AC as much. So just expect to pay anywhere from uh, you know, $150 to $250 a month for the uh, utilities. Now, as far as the price of groceries in Cartersville, of course, that's going to depend on what store you shop at. Obviously, you know, if you shop at Walmart, it's going to be cheaper than you know, Kroger, for example. Uh, so you have to factor that in. But on average, according to bestplaces.net, again, Cartersville has about 5% cheaper grocery cost than the national average. So um, groceries are a little bit cheaper here, uh, but again, of course, that depends widely on where you shop and how many mouths you have to feed. Now, just for a quick example, if I were to go grocery shopping just for myself, I could probably do a, a week's worth of groceries for a hundred bucks or so. But again, it really just depends on the type of food you're, you're buying and how many people you're buying for. The next living cost I want to get into is the housing cost in Cartersville. Now, the, over the last couple of years, the housing market in Cartersville has exploded. Same with the rental market, as we'll get into in just a minute here. The majority of houses in Cartersville range anywhere from 200,000 to 300,000, um, but expect to pay in the high twos to low threes if you're, you're looking for a, a nicer house. Um, for example, here's what $320,000 can buy you in Cartersville. It's a three bedroom, four bath house with um, a little over 1,800 square feet. So it's a decent sized house with lots of beds and baths. But of course you can find a, a similar sized house for cheaper but it's probably not gonna be quite as nice. Now, as far as the rental prices go, uh, Cartersville is actually comprised of almost 50% renters. So there's a huge rental market here, and um, which means there's a lot of competition. If you're looking to rent in Cartersville, expect to pay anywhere from 1,000 to $2,000. It really just depends on the size of the apartment or house that you're renting, and of course, the exact location in Cartersville. For a quick example here, here's what $1,800 can get you in Cartersville. It's a three bed, two bath almost 2,000 square feet. So it's a nice house and at $1,800, this is what you can get. But of course, if this is way outside your budget, there are uh, cheaper places that just might not be as large or as nice. The last expense I wanna talk about is the taxes here in Cartersville. Uh, the sales tax rate is about 7%, which is pretty typical in the United States. The uh, national average 7.3% of so Cartersville is just um, slightly below is pretty much negligible difference. Now the income tax rate in Cartersville is 6%, uh, which is much lower than other places like California, for example, has 13%, so less than half of California, but it's not the lowest in, in the United States. Of course, there are several states that offer zero income tax, so uh, just keep that in mind that the Cartersville has 6% income tax. As far as the property taxes go, that's gonna vary, of course, but um, according to taxrates.org, the property tax rate is 0.63% of the the value of the house. So if you have a house that's worth $250,000, you can expect to pay around $1,575 in, in property taxes. Now, obviously I'm not a tax professional, so I can't say for certain uh, what the exact tax rate will be, but this will at least give you a rough idea of what to expect when living in Cartersville. I hope that answered your questions about what the cost of living in Cartersville is. If I didn't answer all your questions, I'll have my contact info on the screen here so you can uh, reach out to me. I also have my contact info in the description below. Uh, so reach out at any time and I'll be happy to help. And if you're interested in relocating to Cartersville or any area in Georgia, uh, please feel free to reach out and I'll be happy to help. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much.